Welcome Bitcoin friends, it's Bitcoin Memo. Today we're going to do an in-depth analysis on Bitcoin and look at all different time frames. We'll also look at market cipher. There's a lot of fear in the market. A lot of people are thinking the bull market's over. But as you know from my previous videos, I think there's a lot more to come. And we'll go into that in more detail in this video. So let's get into the charts. I want to start here on the monthly time frame. This is on the log scale. And what we can see with this pullback is we did come back to this golden pocket area and we will be opening a new monthly candle soon. I just want to go back in previous bull markets and look at the pullbacks there. So just looking at 2017 here, we can start with this lower one. We can see on this occasion we came back to that golden pocket area. And just looking at the next one here, just taking it from this low, you can see we got close to that golden pocket. We didn't quite touch it. And just looking at the one after that, starting from this candle, because we did wick down lower than the previous candle, we can see we came up and we came down to that golden pocket area on this pullback. And why I'm showing you that is, if we just zoom out and do the whole chart here, and also look at the RSI on the monthly, what we can see here is in 2017, we had several pullbacks here along the way before the RSI got quite high at a 95 level. And these were between 30-35% pullbacks, each of them. But if we look at the current cycle, we can once we really started taking off here, we had no pullbacks on the monthly at all. None of these candles made a lower low compared to the previous candle. And when eventually we did get that pullback, we can see we came back to the 61.8, just like we did on these previous pullbacks. But because we didn't have several pullbacks along the way up, this one was a much larger pullback. And we can see that on the RSI, there was no pullbacks here on the way up. And now we've had this big pullback on the RSI. And that's also quite similar to that 2013 run where we did go quite high and then did get that big pullback. And just to show you that on the weekly here, these yellow lines are when we broke the all time high for both cycles here. On the logarithmic chart also, we can see we had these pullbacks twice to this line after breaking the previous all-time high. And on this occasion, after breaking the previous all-time high, we didn't have two pullbacks, we only had one. So it was a much larger pullback. You can see it also took approximately the same time from the first touch point on this line. This was 154 days in 2017, this one 161. So I do think we've just done a similar thing. And because we didn't have a big enough pullback here in this section, we had a bigger pullback eventually up the top here. And we haven't broken the EMA ribbon on the weekly. We did week down, but all the bodies of the candles are still inside the ribbon. And again, we never broke this ribbon on the 2017 run either. So just looking at the VPVR now, what we can see is the maximum amount of volume was now traded at 34,100. And it does include the volume also from here. But this volume does now surpass the amount of volume that was traded at this resistance level at 60,000. So that's showing me that there is strong support here. And I don't think we're going to go below with a body of a candle below here. So this chart is also on the weekly time frame. It's got all three cycles here. And I just want to compare 2013 to 2021 cycle. These orange dotted lines are the points where we broke the previous all-time high. And if we just zoom in on the RSI here, what we can see is in this 2013 cycle here, we broke the all-time high. The RSI was quite high at a 95 level. And then we did eventually have that big pullback. And we came all the way down to the 786 level. I'm just using these Fib retracements on the RSI which you can do just as on the charts. And looking at the current cycle here, we can see when we did break the all-time high, the RSI was quite high. It was at a 88 level, and then we had that run to 60K. The RSI was, was quite overbought at a 95 rating, and since then we've been winding our way down. And we're also coming to this 0.76 level. We did get close to it, just showing you that it was a similar retracement here. And just showing you that on the chart, we can see when we got to that 786 level, that was the bottom. And then we had plenty of room to go up on the RSI to complete the bull run. 
So we are already pretty much at that 786 level, and I do think this is the bottom. And again, we have plenty of room to go back up to, to do a similar thing and complete the bull run. Also looking at the stochastic RSI in that 2013 bull run, when we did break the all-time high, we were maxed out on the stochastic RSI. And then we did have that sharp downfall, and we stayed in these lower regions for quite a while as we corrected. And just looking at 2021, we can see where we broke that all-time high. We were maxed out on the stochastic RSI, and we've come down and we've stayed in this lower region for quite a while. And also on the weekly, I just want to show the 50-week exponential moving average and show that it did act as support here. And it's currently sitting at around 33,500. And the 21 week exponential moving average has come down a bit more, and it's currently sitting at 43,850. We would like to see Bitcoin get back above the 21 week exponential moving average. And onto the daily chart, everyone's looking at this triangle pattern that we've been in for almost a couple of weeks now. And you can see we've had a few touches on the top and the bottom, three on the bottom. And we're coming up for the third touch here. And if we were to take the measured move here, I'm taking it from here because we did come back down and then come all the way back, back up to the to the top of this line. So that was the second touch point. And if we put it at the breakout, we can see that if it plays out, it would take us all the way up to 51,600. And looking at the Fib retracement from the all-time high here to the low, we can see that the golden pocket area is in that area. So we do have this resistance here. This is the daily EMA ribbon. The top of that ribbon currently is at 41,000. We will open a new daily soon. So it might be around 40,700. And to break it completely, we would need to get up to 48,000. So if we can pay out a measured move here and come to this golden pocket, then we would be well above this daily EMA ribbon. We can also see the RSI on the daily is at a 38 level and does have plenty of room to come up here. We also had this triple bullish divergence on the daily. I'll show that on another chart. So we can see here at the bottom of this pattern, we had higher lows on the RSI and lower lows on the price. This one looks a bit, this one looks, this one looks horizontal, but it is a lower low. And just looking back in history here, I did try to find where they have occurred. And we can see here, this was just a regular bullish divergence, lower lows on the price, higher lows on the RSI. And that did give us quite a good pump after that. And we also had here, then see we have lower lows on the price, higher lows on the RSI. And we did get this massive pump here after that. And one more here that led to the bottom of the bear market in 2018. We can see here lower lows on the price, higher lows on the RSI. And that indicated the exact bottom of the bear market here. So that would have been a really good buy to have a position there. And there are quite a lot of similarities here that I'm noticing with this bear market bottom here. And also this current bottom. And we can see the two divergences here. The RSI is also in a similar position all the way down around a 34 level. But I will go into this pattern a bit later on in this video. So looking at market cipher now, notice this pattern here. We did have a green dot here on the daily. Then we got this yellow X as well as this red dot. And then we got and then we got a green dot followed very shortly afterwards. And I thought I'd seen that pattern before in market cipher. This also happened after we had that 53% drop. So I did look back in the history to look for a similar fingerprint of this market cipher pattern and to see how that played out. So this is the current one just to show you zoomed in here, also with the 21 daily exponential moving average. So what I found was I found this happened on three other occasions. It happened twice here at the bottom of the bear market and also back here on the 7th of April 2018 and we'll look at those in more detail. So this is the one that happened in 2018. We can see after a 45% drop here, we got that green dot, that large green dot on market cipher followed by a yellow X which indicates market manipulation 
alongside with the red dot at the same time and then a couple of days later this smaller green dot and this pretty much indicated the bottom of this trend here and after that we went up 52 percent and the other two times it happened was the bottom of that bear market and we see something similar here we can see we had a 51 percent drop then we had this big green dot here we had the yellow x with the red dot and then quickly after that we had a smaller green dot and on that smaller green dot the next day after that we had this massive pump this also indicated the bottom of the current cycle and we did go up 37 percent here we did spend quite a while here coming back down we didn't make a lower low and then we saw this pattern again we saw the large green dot here we saw the yellow x with the red dot and then not long after the green dot and again this led us all the way up to a 60% pump so we see these patterns after a big drop and then this pattern occurs and then we seem to get these big pumps so it will be interesting to see if a similar thing plays out and this is the bottom of that bear market and just to show you that yellow 21 EMA here and you can see once we got above it and used it as support that's when we had these really big pumps and took off so just to show the measured moves here on the bottom of that bear market, you can see after hitting the low for the cycle, we went up approximately 34%, then we had an 18% drop, then we went up 24%, then down 11%, then we had this big move. So there was a lot of volatility here. And this is our current action here up to the day. And we can see after that big drop, this is the 21 EMA again. We can see we dropped down and we reached our low at approximately 30k then we rose up 42 percent came down 26 percent went up 31 percent and came down 18 percent and now we're currently going back up again so very similar to the bottom of that bear market and also the 21 ema here is coming down and i think once we can get above this and use it as support we'll see a similar thing show you that bear market again you can see once we got above you used it as support we had also these four moves with lots of volatility and just looking on the four hour chart now here's that triangle you can see we're almost about to break this ema ribbon much at 37.5 so if we can get above here and use it as support we will break this triangle hopefully and go for that measured move we can see the four hour rsi is only at a 56 reading so there is plenty of room to go up still and just to look at market cipher quickly we can see that pattern we had we do have the green dot on the daily here we also had a green dot here on the two day chart and just recently we got this green dot here on the three day chart and the four day chart doesn't have a green dot the next the next candle will be on the 2nd of june so we're quite close to that one we can see these green dots are coming on the higher time frames one by one and finally i just wanted to go into something uh, just an observation showing how there's some symmetry in the market and i will make a video about this separate that's in more detail but just showing here the this first red line is the 2016 halfling and this is the bear market low and we can see that took 889 days and from the bear market low to where we are currently is around 886 days so just a similar amount of time if we do put in a low here compared to the low that we were talking about here in the bear market low it just would be interesting the symmetry between the halfening to this low to the next low and just to show some more symmetry with these time lengths if we take the move from the peak of the 2017 bull run to the 2020 halfening, you can see it was 876 days. So very similar amount of time for each of these things. And finally, taking the time length from the 2016 halfening to the 2020 halfening, this is this red line. And then these other two red lines are also the same length as this one starting that red line here from this big pullback in 2017 which a lot of people are comparing to the current pullback what we can see is that length of time lines up pretty much exactly with this 30k bottom here that we reached and also if you take the 
the peak of this section here and using the same length line it also lines up pre pretty much with the top of this current pattern here so just some interesting things here you can fix time lengths based on the halfenings and the bear market lows and the peaks but as i said i'll make a separate video that analyzes this a bit more and also looks at other cycles and as we mentioned in previous videos, we can see the symmetry here between the bear market lows to the halfening and the halfening to the peak. You can see that's normally 50% in spent in each time interval. So there is symmetry in the market. So thanks for watching. I hope that was enjoyable. I'll try to make some more regular videos as it's been a while. And we'll just have to see what happens here. I do think we're getting close to trying to break this triangle and hopefully we can get above this four hour EMA ribbon soon. So thanks for watching. I'm Bitcoin Mamo. See you next time. Bye.